Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookies. It's 3D Boxing. Uh, we're going to get into Liam Smith versus Chris Eubanks. Today. We're going to show you how to bring down the house and make some money on that fight. Um, please, uh, before, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, let's get into uh, also please subscribe to our channel Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from Texas Boxing Scene go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all, let's get into today's show. Uh, <clears throat> Liam Smith um, versus Chris Eubank Jr. It's really the only big fight of the weekend. We're gonna uh, we're gonna have plenty of shows this week. We're gonna get into plenty of different uh, fights, uh, but this is the big one, so I wanted to do this on Monday. Um, Liam Smith. Um, Oh, let, me, let, let me pull it up for y'all. Um, well, first of all, I, 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 let me let me break down the fight a little bit. Liam Smith is good. Chris Eubank isn't. Liam Smith is going to win this fight. Liam Smith is going to stop him again. Um, Chris Eubank has come out and said it wasn't definitive. He got knocked out in the fourth round. Uh, Chris Eubank doesn't have much pop. Uh, Chris Eubank hit him with some hit Smith with some clean shots in the third round. It uh, didn't really do anything. Smith came back in the fourth round, got him out. Um, he's going to stop him again. The only question is when, and we're, we're going to get into all of this. Um, Liam Smith does a lot of things well. He's fundamentally sound. He, he fights out of a high guard. You know, he's not the slickest guy. He's not the you know, but he, he's he's defensively responsible. He's in the high guard. He jabs. He, he covers his body well. Right. He, he's hittable. Right. He's not an elusive slickster in there, but he can kind of minimize the damage uh, because he is responsible because he's, he's fundamentally pretty sound. He's kind of got this herky-jerky little thing that he does. Um, he uses a lot of feints and, and, and things like that. Um, his looping right hand is his money shot, and, and that's what it's, I think it's going to be again. His looping right hand is is, is what um, has done in his last two fights, and he's he's got, what is it, four stoppages in a row now? Over over quality opposition, so he's going to get a stoppage again. I I, I would predict. Uh, Chris Eubank, you know he's not a horrible fighter. Um, he's just not going to get it done at, at this level. Um, I've said I, I I know this is going to be a popular. I think Liam Smith is the best Smith brother. I said what I said. I know Caitlin Smith was, a, you know, considered maybe pound for pound at, at, at a particular time. But we go back. Um, yeah. Maybe Eubank can hit. Maybe what I should have said is it doesn't phase Liam Smith because he's got 23 knockouts. Um, he's got a knockout win. Uh, his best win, a quick knockout over Korobov. Uh, I'm trying to think what other big wins he's got. Uh, Ivani Yildrum, I, I believe he knocked out. Um, so I, I, it's probably not fair to say he has no power. Um, it, it just didn't face Smith at all in the first fight. He hit him with some clean shots. Um, and he's got and he, he uh, dropped Leo Williams multiple times. Um, I think four times in total. Um, and the Gale. Uh, the Gale was dropped as well early in that fight. Um, so Eubank usually does damage early. Um, and I, I think Liam Smith is going to come on. Liam Smith, I think, is, is the better boxer. I think he's the bigger puncher. Uh, and I think he's got the better knockout shot. I, I just think he does everything better. I think he's going to stop him again. You know, like I said, I think Smith is underrated. I think he's actually the best Smith. Well, I always thought Callum was a little bit overrated. And Liam was a little bit underrated. Uh, I think Liam's actually better. 
Um, I thought that was a really good win for Canelo at that particular time, you know. Uh, but let's get into the line. I want to show you all the line. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to bet. I'm going to show you how y'all can make money off of this, okay? Um, the money line. Liam Smith, minus 160. So what that does, a $100 bet is going to pay you $62.50. So you bet 100 you walk away with your 100 plus $62.50. I'm going to take the under on this. Uh, like I said, the under is pretty high. It's 10 and a half. So th this end is a pretty good chance that this thing goes the distance. I don't see this thing going the distance. I really don't. I think this is probably your best bet because it's paying plus 115. You might actually want to make this your big bet and, and, and bet that two times. If you bet, and I think this is the best bet. I think the over-under on this fight taking the under is the best bet. Because I really don't see, even if Eubank wins, I think he has to stop him. So I, I think this fight's going to be, if you said, what's your pick? I would say Liam Smith by points. What's your secondary pick? Chris Eubank. I mean, I'm sorry, Liam Smith by stoppage. What's your secondary pick? Chris Eubank by stoppage. So I, I think this is ends within the distance one way or the other. I don't think this right here is a bad bet if you want to bet two times on the under, right? So if you bet $100 on Liam Smith to win, bet 200 on the under. I didn't do that for my demo. I just bet one-on-one, -on -one, but I do think that's your best bet of the day. Um, and then I'm betting $100 on Liam Smith by KO, TKO, or DQ because that, that pays really well. It pays 160 Um And, and it, it, you know, uh, what I like about – um, DraftKings is it gives you all the it gives you all it gives you KO, TKO, and, and TK and DQ. Um, so what that would do, so on a three hundred dollar bet, just to use easy numbers, um, that would make you one sixty, sixty two fifty, and one fifteen. It's gonna make you about three hundred and forty dollars. Um, on that bet. So you're going to walk away with $640 on that bet. Um, and I, 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 I like this. I'm not saying these are home runs. Uh, I'm not saying these are layups, uh, but these are good. Um, Liam Smith getting 160 and, and, and getting 115 on the, the under of 10 and a half is really good. If you were asking me to handicap this, I would have made the under eight and a half. I think 10 and a half is a gift. I really do. I, I think that's a good bet. Now, if I could go the distance and you could lose that, right? But I, I just don't see this fight going the distance. Liam Smith, my um, KO is my pick. So to get 160 on that, I, I think is a great bet. And then, you know, just Liam Smith to win overall is paying, you know, 62.50 on a hundred dollar bet. So it's, that's not, that's not bad. Um, and again, if you want to make the over under your big bet and bet that two times, you know, make that two and all bet. I think that's I think that's a wise thing to do. I didn't do it here for my example though. Again, I don't bet. I you can't even use DraftKings in Texas. I'm not telling you to bet. And if you do bet, gamble responsibly. Um, but this is what I would do. Um, I, I think Liam Smith, better boxer, uses his jab more. He's more patient. He sets things up. He takes a good shot. I think he definitely. Gets. I think this is a similar repeat. It may go a little longer, maybe six or seven rounds, uh, but I think we're comfortably under that ten and a half. And I, I definitely think Liam Smith gets the stoppage. Um, and if I'm right, it's going to pay well. If if my prediction of Liam Smith by seventh round TKO is correct, it's going to pay well. It's going to pay well. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments, uh, and concerns. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow three boxing, three boxing blog on all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at um sorry, the boxing bookie comes at you for every major fight, big and small. We're gonna we're gonna show you how to bring down the house. Um but let me know what you guys think in your thoughts, comments below. It is August 28th, 2023, from Texas to world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. Three boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside.